Good morning. My name is Morgan, and just like a lot of us, I am trying to figure this thing called life out. I don't really know what's going on, <laughs> but I know this particular season in my life is all about intention and showing up for myself so that I can ascend to my higher self. I cannot get where I'm trying to be if I don't show up for myself every single day. That means getting out of bed even when I don't feel like it and getting ready for the day. That also calls for random self-care days where I just get up leisurely, get ready, get myself together, look presentable, and take myself out for a nice day. And that's all we're doing today, guys. I feel like a lot of us can relate when it comes to trying to figure this thing out, but you're not alone. I'm trying to figure it out too. Like I said before, part of me figuring it out is showing up for myself and being intentional. Every day I've been focusing on getting ready for the day, whether it's doing my makeup, doing my hair, um, pampering, whatever it is, I'm trying not to sit in bed and look like sh all day. <laughs> so today we are installing this new wig. I feel like a new hairstyle gives me just that pep in my step that I need to look good and feel good. I was taught that at a very young age. You look presentable, you look good, you feel good. Um, thank you to Allie Grace Hair for sponsoring this portion of today's video. If you guys are looking for a new wig, a new hairstyle, or even maybe some bundles, make sure you check out the description box below. Um, they have everything from short to curly, um, like I said, bundles, packages, frontals, closures, you name it they have it okay quick delivery super super quick delivery um they if you see on the bottom right corner there that little chat option if you need help finding something or to check on an order or anything of that nature they got you they're having like a flash sale currently um as well as an autumn sale the autumn sale is actually 60 dollars off certain orders so make sure you check that out um join their newsletter so that you're notified every time they have a sale being posted and you guys know i am a huge fan of saving my coin okay good thing is ali grace has partnered with klarna so for those of you that are new here, I don't like paying for nothing all at once. Break it up. If I can pay for it later, I want to pay for it later. And that's exactly what Klarna does. You're able to purchase your unit, have it delivered to you, and still make installment payments um, at little to no interest. So make sure you check that out in the description box below. And thank you again, Allie Grace, for sponsoring this portion of today's video. You guys, whether you believe it or not, are contributing to, like I said, my chapter right now is showing up for myself. So we are installing this wig so that I can be fly, give me a little bust down going. And I think as a woman, it's very important whether you have short hair, natural hair, whatever style you have to be maintained and look well. I feel like you treat yourself better when you look better and other people treat you better when you look better. Now, am I putting this wig on for anybody else? No, like I said, this chapter is about me showing up for myself. So I'm gonna get up shower do my makeup do my hair like you guys are seeing here and get my day going we are going to get in traffic and have a good day but first things first i have to look good okay period so make sure you guys check out the description box below um and that is it i'm giving y'all looks i'm giving the girls looks i actually reinstalled this twice so this is like an updated review the wig is bomb period make sure y'all check out the description box below and let's get this self-care day started All right, you guys, so the hair is funny though. Let me show you guys what I have on. So I have on a black dress and just some little new balances. These are my favorite shoes right now. Super cute. Anyways, I am about to freaking clean up. I could have sprayed the part, but I didn't feel like it. Mind your fucking business. But I'm about to clean up because I always make a mess when I'm doing my hair. So I'm about to um, straighten up the bathroom and get me a cute thumbnail pic before we get the day started. And then we are headed to the nail salon. I'm going to this place called Venus. I've never been there before, um, but they had great reviews. And looking at the nails, they just look like they can do what I want, which is something basic, but you'd be surprised. So like I said, I'm going to straighten up the bathroom and then make me like a little drink, drink a drink um a healthy drink not a drinky drink a healthy drink and then we are headed to the nail salon
okay you guys it is freaking raining um it just started raining dang my forehead's big but it just started raining well it was sprinkling on my way here but it's kind of like raining now i don't know if you can tell but the red nails i am in love i'm in love i'm obsessed whatever that girl say but the red nails got me feeling so like mature and like pretty it is a different level of like I don't know I just feel very mature and pretty and like hip and stylish kind of you know and it does I know some people aren't with the red nails because they think it's like a whorish thing or like a grandma thing but if you get it you get it like it kind of is grandma and in a sense I guess it is kind of whore but overall is given like super mature and classy like I don't know if I see I feel like this is just mature, y'all. I'm, I'm having such a good day. It's the little things. Like, I put this wig on, got my nails done, got a little pedicure. And I found this place. I'm going to start coming here um, whenever I'm not doing press-ons. Sometimes I do press-ons just to save a little money. And I'm still going to do press-ons. But sometimes I need to just spend money and get it done and just pay for myself. But that was Venus Venus Nail Spa. And honestly, I give them a 10 because my nails and toes look amazing and i got the hot stone massage it was the shit i think what i'm gonna do is go grab some sushi because i am freaking starving and then i'm gonna go to the car wash i think the car wash is gonna be the last thing i do honestly it's raining so it makes no sense to go to the car wash to be honest i may just do the car wash tomorrow or thursday or something like that i'm gonna look up the weather but for now my main my main focus is the sushi okay i was gonna go to the steakhouse i'm a little tipsy i had me a glass of wine on an empty stomach that'll do it but i think i'm gonna go to this place called hold on let me tell you guys right now i had it pulled up on here i don't know i have to research it up but my battery is dying and i did not bring a spare battery so i will see you guys at the restaurant did y'all's grandma tell y'all red nails was for sluts or how do y'all feel about red nails because i like it i think i am gonna find one that's a little brighter next time because this one is it's in between bright and dull so I may find one that's like slightly brighter, but battery's dying. See you guys at the restaurant and we'll go from there. While we wait on the cookies in the oven, I do want to take this time to kind of relax and unwind for the evening. Maybe light me a candle from you guys. Truly, you already know, Dossier. Um, they always provide me with the best candles, perfumes, home diffusers, things like that to really get the vibes going in my house to unwind and just relax. Um, I do have fun today, but it's time to chill and get back to business. So first, I just want to kind of look over my to-do list, make sure I'm on track for my goals for the month, and then I want to journal. And having the candle lit just really sets the tone and makes me kind of block everything out and relaxes me completely. I'm a very visual person, 
So me just seeing the candle lit automatically gets me in the mode of just relaxing and focusing on what's in front of me. So here recently, journaling has been helping me stay on track, stay focused, affirming myself. I'm blessed, I'm loved, I'm thankful, all of those things. I can do this without a candle, but it's much more enjoyable thanks to Dossier. Thank you again for sponsoring this portion of today's video. And when we are done with our journaling, it's time to check on these cookies, y'all. <laughs> So, I'm rotating clothes. I got the dishwasher going. You hear noise in the background. That's what it is from. My house is pretty clean. The cookies, I should have took them out way before I did. And honestly, at one point, I was about to go to crumble cookie at like 9 30 because some just told me that the cookies wasn't gonna turn out right i'm not even like a baking girl i don't care if it's easy like pre-made cookie dough you just slap in there i always mess a dessert up i've made a strawberry cake that was good in my life and i can make like cornbread but as far as like desserts i'm not really good at them but i want to get better at them and work on them and the fact that i just messed these cookies up makes me want to get into my baking bag more like it makes me want to start making like blueberry muffins and like protein chocolate muffins and stuff like healthy versions of like desserts because i'm not big on dessert but i do feel very feminine and like dainty making like desserts and i do like sweets sometimes i don't eat sweets a whole lot but like those are like gluten-free chocolate and like organic cookies and like the marshmallows weren't that good but i had like a healthy version of the cookie but i left them in too long so like by the time i took them out by the time they got through resting it was just like a little bit overdone they weren't burnt but they like weren't how i wanted them does that make sense i like my cookies like crispy on the edges and like soft and gooey in the middle and it just i don't know by the time i let them sit they got hard because you know cookies still cook once you take them out the oven i don't know anyways now i want to make me some like protein blueberry muffins or something i'm gonna have to do that in the vlog now because uh, -uh i ain't going out like that not in my kitchen okay i have to redeem myself from messing up the cookies but um it still tasted okay i only ate like half of one especially with my teeth i couldn't really afford for them to be that crunchy but i'm just drinking this water um at like 1 30 or something like about 1 30 i'm going to go have like a shot or drink i'm not gonna vlog because your girl is having a little plans tonight i'm gonna go have me a little drink downtown or whatever i'm off today i just want to have a self-care day and like relax and chill and bring y'all with me because these days like i said are very freaking important like a few days ago i was feeling like when i got the last day in Miami when I got back here, I felt really like crazy because I was just going, 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 going. So I, my body has been fiending for this day of just like relaxing, some good food. My nails were looking crazy. The heels of my feet were rough as fuck. Like I needed to go get a pedicure so bad and I feel so much better. Got my hair all nice and pretty and I just feel good. I had me a nice little lunch slash dinner. The cookies weren't the best, but that's okay. Nails on fleek. I journaled a little bit, got in the mood with my dossier. Um, journaling is something I'm trying to get back into, even if it's not like extensive, because I've done some scripting that was like, like legit, like, like very tedious and like drawn out. But even if it's just like a light journal session, just something showing some gratitude on paper, I'm trying to get back into that. And so I did a little bit of that. I played a few songs to pick some options for this vlog that I'm editing. And while I was waiting on the cookies. And yeah, that's pretty much the end of my self-care day. I was going to go to the mall or something and grab myself. Like, I've been wanting like a little dainty, like hard necklace. But honestly, I went to the mall twice when my brother was here. So I just don't want to do the mall again. I can't handle the mall again right now. So maybe in a few weeks, I'll go back to the mall and order that. Or I'll get online and order it. Because I really did want to get like a cute little dainty princess neck necklace like a heart necklace to um just gift myself pretty much nothing crazy but i am gonna get it because i've wanted it for like five years why i ain't got it yet i don't know maybe maybe these niggas ain't getting a hint but it's okay i will get it for myself okay cheers to self-care
anyways if you guys have any baking tips and tricks so let me know in the comment section all my aunties on here tap in because y'all just see me messing cookies up but i really thought i was doing something and i messed them up but i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you feel motivated to do something for yourself this week or after you've had a long day or a long week something simple whether it's painting your nails want to go grab a drink and some pasta just taking yourself out on a date or just doing something that makes you feel good i feel like that's all life is about really is doing things that make you feel good we've allowed society to turn into like hustle culture but there is no hustle culture without self-care you cannot grind if you're not taking care of yourself and that's the most important thing so i hope this video motivated you to like step out and take yourself out on a date um whether you're in a relationship or not does not matter tell your man if he if he want to support you going on a date he can send you the money to pay for the food but you need to go on a date by yourself you just sit at the table scroll I'm a, I'm a little like YouTube girl, so I watch YouTube when I'm eating. I watch TikTok. And I just sit with myself and I just have such a good time and I enjoy every bite of my food. I tried a martini today, my first time trying a lychee, lychee, however you say a martini. It was good and I just had a good time. Relaxing, having wine, get my nails done. But yeah, that's it. I hope you guys are motivated to do something for yourself because you do deserve it. I don't care. I don't care. You deserve it. You don't have to have an excuse. That is the excuse. You deserve it. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. And I'll see you in the next video.